Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Little topic video here, uh, WWE Hall of Fame 2015 and the WWE re-signing Brock Lesnar. First off, the 2015 Hall of Fame class in the celebrity, celebrity wing, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, obviously throughout the years, Arnold has made several different appearances on pay-per-views and Raw's and stuff. Um, the first tag team would be the Bushwhackers, Luke Williams and Butch Miller. They've won over 20 tag team titles throughout the 40 year, their 40-year wrestling career in the AWA, NWA, and Stampede Wrestling. Uh, next, we have Larry Zbysko, a two-time AWA champion, a WCW tag champion, and WWF tag team champion. Um, formerly WCW Television on Monday Night Nitro and Saturday Night Main Event. Um, you know, great wrestler in his day and a great announcer in his day. Next we have Alondra Blaze, aka Medusa, a three-time WWF Women's Champion, a AWA Women's Champion, and a WCW Cruiserweight Champion. Yes, I said Cruiserweight Champion. The first woman to ever win the WCW Cruiserweight title. When she left WWF, she was the Women's Champion at the time. On Monday Night Nitro, she took the WWF Women's title and dropped it into a trash can. One of the big moments during the Monday Night Wars. Next, we have Rikishi, a WWF Champion, a three-time Tag Team Champion, inducted into the 2015 Hall of Fame class. Uh, next, we have... Tatsumi Fujinami, Fujinami, not sure I've found that completely, six-time IWGP champion, the NWA champion, a WWF junior heavyweight champion. Next we have Kevin Nash slash Big Daddy Cool Diesel, former WWF champion, a five-time WCW champion, a WWF Intercontinental champion, a nine-time WCW tag champion, a two-time WWF Tag Team Champion, a uh, former member of The Click in WWF, uh, one of the founding fathers of the NWO with Hogan and Scott Hall, and one of the founding fathers of the NWO Wolfpack with Conan and Sting and Randy Savage. Uh, last year he inducted his best friend Razor Ramon, Scott Hall, into the Hall of Fame. Now this year is Kevin Nash's turn. Um, we have a long time coming, should have happened years ago. Induction, we have the one, the only Macho Man Randy Savage. Posthumously getting inducted in the Hall of Fame. Should have happened before he passed away. Um, Obviously, the Macho meant a lot to wrestling, a lot to wrestling fans. Not only his Slim Jim commercials. Snap into a Slim Jim! That's, yeah. I can't do Macho. Two-time WWF champion, a four-time WCW champion, a WWF Intercontinental champion, 1987 King of the Ring winner. Macho meant a lot to a lot of people in wrestling. I know when I started watching wrestling, he had won the WCW world title and the World War Three, sixty man, three ring battle royal was for the title. I remember him winning the title. Um, and something that WWE is doing started this year, the Warrior Award. Um, I don't, I don't know what the future is going to hold for this award, but this year it was given to an eight year old named Connor the Crusher, Malchak. Um, Connor died of cancer. Um, he was, I guess, a lot of the WWE superstars will visit, you know, children's hospitals and children that are, you know, have, you know, cancer or children that are, that are going to die. And by them doing this award in memory of the Ultimate Warrior and giving it to somebody like this is just, it gives you goosebumps. It almost just rips at your heartstrings. You know, even to read this. When Connor passed away, Triple H and Stephanie created Connor's Cure for Cancer. A fun setup to raise money for 
finding a cure for cancer. And in memory of Connor, he's being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame under the Warrior Award. His favorite WWE superstar was Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan and the Warriors um, widow are we being the two inducting this year. This young fan into the Hall of Fame. This is probably one of the neatest things that we could do to reach out to their fans and in a memory of this child who was went through a super lot in just a short time on this earth. This, this yeah, rather, rather, rather neat that WWE's doing that and reaching out like that. Okay, moving on. Um, as it was announced on Sports Center, randomly, Brock Lesnar retired from the MMA UFC and re-signed with WWE. Believe this was a mistake, in my opinion. I'm not a Brock Lesnar fan. I've never been a Brock Lesnar fan. Even his baby face turn. He's supposed to, supposedly uh, Heyman's supposed to turn on him. And Lesnar's going to turn face. They've been saying that for a while now. Haven't seen it yet. Here's my issue with Brock Lesnar. He's currently been champion for 219 days. August 17, 2014, he won the WWE World Heavyweight title. He's defended that title three fucking times in 219 days. He's had 10... He's had 10 pay-per-view matches in three years. He's had now four matches involving John Cena, three matches involving Triple H, a CM Punk match, a Big Show, can't even call it a match, and then The Undertaker at WrestleMania last year. It's just, like I've said in the preview, I mean... Brock Lesnar shouldn't be your fucking world champion with a talent that's on this WWE roster. I mean, I mean, really, come on now. And if you look at his past matches, all his John Cena matches were less than 18 minutes. This guy cannot go a long time in the ring. In the triple threat, John Cena, Seth Rollins, and Lesnar was 22 minutes, but Seth Rollins did all the work there. The Taker match, yeah, it was 25 minutes, but it didn't look good. His Big Show match was two minutes. His Punk match was freaking phenomenal because CM Punk was in it. His Triple, you know, triple H match is 18 to 22, 23 minutes. I mean, here's my issue with him being champion for 219 days and defending the title three times. In the last 15 years, there's only been seven people. Take that back. Six people to hold the title more than 220 days. Brock Lesnar, CM Punk, John Cena twice, Dave Bautista, Triple H, and JBL. CM Punk, his 4 and 34 day title run from November 20th of 2011 through January 27, 2013. Out of 15 pay-per-views, CM Punk wrestled on 14 of them. He was out there wrestling 300 days a year, defending that title. He put his body through hell. Brock Lesnar hasn't even done that in the three years. But this guy did in 15 months. You know, John Cena had a 380 day title run. He wrestled almost every night, day in, day out. Same way with Batista, Triple H, John Cena's other title run of 280 days, JBL's title run of 280 days. Anybody can hold the title 220 days and not wrestle. I mean, really? A monkey could do that. they got to get the title off Brock Lesnar. I know they're wanting to build a WrestleMania 32 at Jerry's Palace in Dallas. The new Dallas Stadium. That which held 118,000 people for an NBA All-Star game. I know Vince that thinks he can get 120,000 in that place and have the North America record for people in one venue. 
and they won the title, and they won a title match as Rock versus Brock Lesnar. Please, dear God, don't do it for the title. What I would like to see WWE do is obviously get the title off Lesnar, and then you can do whatever you want with him at that point. I don't care. Sign Samoa Joe. Plain and simple. Sm Sign Samoa Joe. Put him in NXT for a couple months. Have Heyman go away. Have him turn on Lesnar and go away. Have Heyman come back. If you want Roman Reigns, if you're going to sho continue shoving Roman Reigns down our throat as the next big thing. Have Heyman come out. July. Start cutting promos. I'm bringing this guy in. He's Samoan. He's going to kick the Roman Reigns' ass. Blah, blah, blah. I'm bringing in the Samoan submission machine. Samoa Joe. At SummerSlam or Survivor Series. And then get rid of Roman Reigns, insert Samoa Joe in that role, and the crowd will go crazy. Your fans will love it. All right, then we'll wrap up to the uh, topic show edition of Robert's Sports Show, the 2015 Res WrestleMania Hall of Fame ceremony, and Brock Lesnar re-signing with WWE, and a little talk about Samoa Joe. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Have a spiffy night. Robert Sports Show, the YouTube leader in sports channels.